Hello guys and welcome to another deck video. So I did play a little bit, like not much, because I still have a bunch of stuff to do, but I was trying to make, you know, um Odin work because it was seemed like it was really hard to make it work. So I mean it's it's not like as you know easy um unlike the other ones. So Here's the thing, the point was to trying to rush your opponent, because, you know, that's what high res is trying to push with Norris. So, we're gonna go, and even if it's like, we're gonna put some, we're gonna put some mayhems. Now, we're gonna also go with Valhalla's Blessing and Valhalla's Sorcery, because they're going to combo well with, I mean, it got nerfed, but still, where is he? Ah, the Imperial Archer, there you go. Um... Got nerfed in the hot in the hot fix, you know. Um, uh, so is the uh, other guy that we want, the mercenary. Uh, but still, mercenary is gonna be really, really powerful. Um, so yeah, we're gonna also since we're gonna be playing lots of little minions, right? We're gonna be playing the. Um, where are they? The warrior sigil and the hunter sigil, and. You know, because of the leader ability of Odin, we definitely want some crippling curse to kill some big guys just with the his ability to have a one one warrior charge. Now, you know, that's really early, but still we're gonna be sure that we have always a good drop on turn two with an a Rathathosker that can also inflict more damage if he attacks multiple times. We're gonna have a gift of money, and the point is because all of our cards go so fast out of our hand, we should technically have less cards than an opponent. Then, you know, that's probably the one of the late game of the deck, and it's gonna be Scotty. We're also going to play um, Sagittarius, just because, you know, it's so good. It gives you two body, goes well with Mercenary, and then the more units you have on board, the more Mayhem is good. And also, we're going to add one card that's going to act as a finisher. And that's why you want lots of units is a frenzy. Just to finish the game. And our ultra late game is going to be Freya. Just being able to stall everything that an opponent has and continue to push damage. Basically like a, a big banish on everything. And it also can push 2 damage on the summoning stone if need to. So that's the rush deck. Um... Yeah, that's the rush deck uh, that I tried, and it worked a lot. So now I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and gonna try it right now. Let's see if we can have a fast queue here. So that should be actually really fun. I I did have a uh, lots amount of fun, especially because you know there's like what is like s ten cards that cost one. So you know. And you're, you're t you still have four two drops with Red Tuskers and a Hunter Sigil. Let's see here. Uh, give me a second. Kill fast. Okay. So we're against a Zeus. Okay. Um. No, we're not gonna keep the frenzy. We really want a top deck that. That's gonna be good. Uh, War Sigil. Not that much. Not that much. Especially against a Zeus. He has a lot of like Scyllas and stuff like that. At least now I'm going to be able to kill it with that. And we did get a Mayhem, which is kind of cool. Oh, Dutch of Midnight's right off the bat. That's going to be good. Because we want to be aggressive. Now, if I play that and he has a Scylla, I have to Hunter Sigil and then it's feeling really bad. Let's just hope he doesn't have them. Okay. Um... Yeah, next turn's not gonna be great, also. Uh, it really depends here. The Scylla right now is gonna be one of the hardest counter. Like, see, if we had rid of the Thosker, it would have been a little bit better. Sentry Ward, okay. I see, I see. Um. Honestly, this is a hard one because we just picked up Crippling Curses. Well, let's just get, go and make a dude and push for 3 damage. Not big, but you know, you still have five cars, and we have six, which is not really what we're looking for. Uh, Chathos could come down here. Okay, uh, no, he wants to take it down an archer. Yeah, so we're gonna go and gift of money that probably and meta potion. Um, 
Um, yeah. So let's see. Can we get less than five cards? Mana potion. Uh, Ratatoskr. Right, so we have five cards. You still have five cards. Yeah, we're not gonna be able. I have the same amount of cards, and we're just gonna kill him. Not gonna draw because we had the same amount of cards. But still, uh, we got five damage. We got some pressure. Marksman, okay. Be a little bit weak, and probably will die to a mayhem. And we have double mayhem. Let's go with the mayhem play. Honestly, let's just uh, push some damage here. Um, and then it's gonna be easier for the gift of mining. There you go. Um, we need to move out. Almost missed the damage there. A and you can see right here how effective all of this is, right? And now, um, Athena could come down though, but I still gonna have the gift of mining to uh, attack the summoning stone, crippling curse to kill the Athena. So yeah, probably there. Ah, not a big deal, honestly. Could have been much worse. And I can even use Freya as a banish for that. But I'm going to keep Freya just because I want to play all of my other cards. So let's go with that. Maybe the Wrath Thoster is going to, you know, get the damage from this. Didn't. Uh, so let me just play. Do we have enough? Yeah, I think we have enough. We can just ignore her. Yeah, the give of money is gonna go there, and we're gonna finish it. There you go, guys. You see, really fast. And even if he had the Athena, he was still in a bit of a problem. So there you see, I'm gonna complete some of these quests. And yeah, really, really effective. And you have multiple choices. And we didn't really have an optimal turn three play, right? We didn't have the Scotty or anything. Uh, really, let me let me see real fast. Um, we didn't have the Imperial Archer on turn three. Also, these are our two biggest drops. We had to just play a guy from Odin, but still, he did like three damage or two damage, uh, depending if it's he's the one that got killed by the Athena. But yeah, like you know, even Rushing Thunder, if you play against some Chinese. Or Crescent Blades is easy to kill your guys, but you know, if they trade a Crescent Blade to kill one of your 1 1s, well, your 1 1 would have at least dealt one damage. And since all of your cards are really aggressive, uh, you're gonna have uh, you're gonna always be like ahead because all of your cards cost little, and his cards don't, doesn't cost as little as you. You know, the, like the deck being really, really cheap. Okay, so let's see. We are, we get against Bologna, right? Uh, two Red Thoskers. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think I'll keep this gun. No, wait. We're gonna we're gonna go like that. We won really early game here. Uh, that's not bad. We did get another Red Thosker. Um. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. With a Wrath of Oscar. Ration, okay, but if he moves, he will not. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. I probably want. Okay, so. If. Yeah, he has so little cards. Gift of Money will never trigger. So. I'm, I'm gonna kill one. Right? And then we're gonna move. And I, I must kill that guy. That's a huge 50-50 here. I'm gonna miss. Okay. So I can... Do I mayhem for another 50-50? Probably not. Yeah. This is not worth. He's gonna pawn something. He's gonna kill my Wrath of Oscar. It's gonna have a... It's gonna be a reset. Well, that's... That's really good. Actually, Spartan. Okay. We're gonna go with the big burst here. Um, warriors, hunters, hunters first. Probably hunters first. Uh, you know what? Do I want to? Uh, let's let's put Red Thosker here. 
I should have put that guy there, because now it's out of range. But, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Oh, that's that's funny. He can actually blink my stuff and, and attack it. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So what do we have here? We have a bunch of options. Are there any options that are good? Let's see. That's still four. Um, let's go for this one. Okay, let's go here. Uh, we got a frenzy. Okay, okay. So, gonna have to move out and then put the hunter sigils. Put the war sigil. And then let's go with the mayhem. That's a little bit sad. Okay. And, well, you know, we don't have any attacks, so... Let's just go and try uh, to get a big Frenzy next turn. I'm gonna have 6 mana, so Frenzy plus a guy here. Um, you know, it really depends. Uh, Terra could come down and stun all my top row. That could be sad. Um, it's just like, I didn't have this place to spawn my things. There you go. Probably just going to kill archers. Yeah, or just a Rathathosker. Okay, so what do we got here? Oh, wait a second. Is Siege work? No, half of my shit is ton. Okay. Well, I got two archers and one guy. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's try a gift of money because we can draw a card from there. We're gonna put, uh, we're gonna move this guy here, and we're gonna put a guy here. That, does that work? Probably. Right now, we're gonna Frenzy, and we're gonna try to clear, because he doesn't have much cards left. So, if, I need to kill this guy first, means that... Let's shoot him. And let's shoot him. Right now we can just trade here. And trade here. Good enough for me. Um, Now if he doesn't play all his cards, we're going to have three cards next turn, probably. And all of our cards are really cheap, right? Sagittarius, uh, Scotty's... Even Freya is going to help us to push lots of damage. Though, we did go for a clear instead of some damage just because we didn't have good positioning. That terror was really good. I should have probably went for the Summoning Stone. Because that was like, what, 10 damage lost? Oh, that's a full clear. It's actually really, really good. Okay, so... Let me actually kill his guy and play the Hunter Sigil. Uh, yeah, let's draw a card. It's just so effective. There you go. Alright, we're starting to run out of steam though. It really depends. He still he had a really early game also. Uh, okay, he's gonna. What is that like? Damaging spells. I feel like that's exactly happening here. Um, I'm gonna misplay that, but I'm not gonna put him on the same row just because if he has a bludgeon. And let's here start getting some damage. We have a crippling curse though, that's really cool. Um, okay, well, that guy's gonna die. Probably to the Scotty because I wanna keep stuff on the board. I'm gonna blink my guy. Okay, so there's a Sagittarius. Let's, let's open some space though. That's for sure is going down. That's it's advancing. I'm, I don't want them to be on the same. Here. Oh, that's funny actually. 
I don't want them to be on the same row, right? So, and, and here we have, again, lots of stuff on board. And that's really a fun one. It's not really good, honestly, but it's fun. Like, if, if you put something... Yeah, he's gonna stun that. Okay, I'm just gonna... Can I, I think I can just ignore her and, and push for some damage. Honestly, like... Yeah. Hmm. Actually, interesting. Uh, let's play him. Gonna deal some damage. Um, but I'm better to spawn something because whatever I spawn here is not gonna not gonna be in range if I I uh, move the other one here. Let's go, mercenary. Lots of damage. Lots of damage. Look at that. Did that Galia attack? All the other ones are stunned. This one was out of range. Cool! Um, and now there's like, just like too much stuff. Both Terras were played, Bird Dishonorable were played, and were really good Dishonorables. Maybe, um, yeah. Okay. Now that's cute. That's really cute. So let's just go there. Get another crippling curse. Uh, so let's use our two guys over here. Oh, let me make a new guy. Guys here. That's gonna clear all of that. And now do we have enough? We have enough to finish the game. So. Like, I'm not gonna kill the Terra, I could, but just have enough. Why? Wasting a turn. There you go. And I'm going to try and do a turn match, because, you know, if I'm not wrong, this is going really fast. Since, you know, it's still a rush deck, but I don't know, the reload of, of, the, of the deck is really good. Um, like our opponent has really, really, a uh, really good answers to our stuff. Oh, they still outrun him, as you could see in the end there. Like the soldier Spartan was really interesting. Uh, the Spartan more because giving it uh, all his uh, stuff one shield when most of my things have one attack was really, really uh, something good. Like if I would have top deck Freya though, like could have just banished him and pushed for full damage. That would have been real really really good okay so we're gonna search and I hope to get because we, we beat what we beat Roman and we beat um what else did we beat Zeus yeah so maybe if we get uh, a Chinese that will be cool uh, even though you know they can like Guan Yu is kind of hard to deal with but it depends at the same time what the board state is. Um, I think that the most frustrating thing in the last game was that uh, my Frenzy will not push for damage because all of my units were most of them out of position. So yeah. Okay, so I don't know if it's the same guy, but it's, again, Bologna. Uh, we're going to probably see what, what he's going to play. I'm going to keep the Scotty. Um, the Crippling Curse Ma. Valhalla Sorcery, I can just draw the, what I want instead of it, so that's going to give me a Valhalla Sorcery, but we're going to have something to start with. Breath of Thoster is going to be strong. Seems like it's going to be one of the same start as before. I'm not against it, honestly. Like I can take a 33% chance, but he's going to respect it. This okay, let me see. Scotty here seems really strong. Um. There you go. Oh yeah. Hit the guy. Yes. So even if he trades after, he's going to lose his guy, which is really great for us. Which is really great for. Him. Oh, we're gonna be. Oh. That's a Gallus. Okay. Well, I'm just going to probably ignore the Gallus. I think. I'm really not sure. Um. Do I? 
he does have lots of health. Um, I guess I'm just going to, we get the snipe, we get the snipe, so yeah, uh, it was out of range, so that's a big, big 50-50 again, last time we, lo we lose it, this time we win it, and now we're in a pretty strong position, not in the same for, oh, okay, demoralize, I can see it, I can see it, let's attack here, let's get to see what we get, another Scotty, that's gonna be actually really good. Um, Scotty, yes, L let's play Scotty and Caldeer move into position, and next turn we're going to Mayhem uh, with two more Hunter Sigils. See, and that should be, I right, re-attack, okay, so that should like close the game next turn, like with all the board that we have gonna be like Terra okay that's cool that's cool like can you imagine if I thought deck like mercenary Ooh. I'm just oh like one mana off but doesn't matter we're gonna snipe that we're gonna move in range to hit the stone if we need to but two more there I'm gonna snipe her again we're gonna mayhem for that's what 10 fine Oh my god, so much damage. Oh my god, we killed a Terra that has 6 health. And a Summoning Stone is at 3. This is, I think, you know, really what the... <laughs> what, oh my god, the deck is about. Um, oh, and we get the Mercenary. Okay, okay, okay. We need to just abuse this. Or our opponents just surrender. Look at that 8-8 eight, eight mercenary. Oh my god. There you go. And it's gonna be GG. Anyways guys, I hope that you like really this rush deck. You can try it out. It works really, really well. Um, and I hope that you learn a lot. You know, uh, lots of people were saying that, you know, Nurse was maybe not there, but... I would tried it uh, a couple times and I found something that was uh, really working for me. And yeah, like again, if you want to see it real fast, that's the list I'm using. Uh, I mean, could you change some things? You can probably change the frenzy, but sometimes it's really useful. Um, other than that, I don't know, uh, uh, Valhalla's Blessing maybe? But that just triggers for free with the Archer here. Um, but you yeah, know, other than that, it's not much synergy. Uh, Valhalla Sorcery sometimes picks you up something really good, like the Sigil, combo with the Mayhem, you know? So, I don't know, I'm really having lots of fun with that deck. Um, you can try it out if you want, and tell me how you're doing. Uh, but yeah, hope that you learn a lot again, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to, uh, subscribe, comment, and like. That's also helping me a lot. And I'll see you in the next video.